All right, show and tell. I had a bright idea to use muriatic acid to strip the top deck of this trailer. All 18 feet of it because of the heavy, heavy amount of surface rush. So now, surface rust. So now, let me show you the results and give you some pointers that might help you along the way with this particular process. Here we go. The results are in. And all in all, they are not too bad at all. One thing to keep in mind when you're dealing with this muriatic acid and water, when you strip off this heavy, heavy layer of oxidation and you're dealing with water and you don't have adequate time to dry it off, even when you dry it off, it's going to flash rust with this really kind of not bad looking orangish oxide coating that will form after that. But what I want you to notice is look at the amount of rust that was removed compared to the previous picture video. Previously, just to give you an idea, and this was just simply lightly wire brushed. Now let's not forget that in order to get any paint or primer to it here, you have to roughen the surface anyway to give the paint something to buff into. Now I came back out earlier this morning at this section, just for kicks and giggles, I mixed a weaker solution of muriatic acid, used the brush material, brushed it on, and let it do its thing. This time I did something just a little bit different. In order to neutralize the acid, I mixed some baking soda and water and applied it over the surface and let it sit. And then, um, yeah, yeah, I believe I rinsed it out. And of course, that section out there was because I had maneuvered the trailer, opened the back door, maneuvered the tail of the trailer outside. And it's, of course, Nashville raining and snowing today. So it got wet and stayed wet. So anyway, but this coating, this light oxide coating, is not very difficult to deal with. I'll give you an example. Here's my little wire brush here. Show you how easily this comes off. Just like that. Just that easy. Just that quick. Now a few other things that you're going to take note of if you're going to do this process. A lot of ventilation. Like they say, you're dealing with acid, you're dealing with fumes. Here's another issue. See this fender. Bare metal. Notice the fender on the other side. That was also bare metal, done from the previous thing. Notice it has the same oxide coating as the deck that has been treated, though it did not receive any acid. The vapor. It's got the vapors. So just a note of caution to you, nor a note of preparation. Any bare steel surface that you do not want to flash rust it would be good if you simply covered it in some type of plastic. At one point I actually had something sitting right here on the fender. 
And what I noticed when I moved it away was, it was actually my uh, polycarbonate goggles. When I moved it away, there was no rust right behind it and of course where it covered. So, if you got bare metal surfaces that you don't want to rush, flash rush, protect them with some plastic so that you don't have to go back over them again as I will right here. It's frame rails as you can see. Remember how I said before, get a couple of these, maybe three of them because they are inexpensive. I have had this one for a long time. In fact, I've had two of these. They've been extremely durable. One of them bit the dust. That's it bit the dust when I was using it to get the heavy, heavy rust off while I was trying to figure out which process I was going to use in order to get the best finish on this metal. But having a spare one, having a second one, heck, I even picked up a third one the other day. Helped out. And I think what happened is I simply have worn the brushes down. I've had these for years. So at some point I'm going to take it apart and check out the brushes in it. But having backups really, really helps the process. And again, Harbor Freight, they're inexpensive. They're affordable. And they're what I had. I know if you had a big 7-inch disc, you could cover a lot more surface area. Now I'm going to share something else real quick. <laughs> Man, that looks so good. It's making me want to do it again. And I got to resist. Because this looks fantastic. But that looks even better. Remember, all of this is going to be covered. But I want whatever I put down there to stay down there. And stay down there well, which is why I'm going through all of this in terms of surface preparation. Talk to any body person. They will always tell you preparation. Body prep is the key. Ventilation. Covering up the bare metal. Having several grinders with the proper wheels that you're going to choose. Angle grinders, that is. Let's see. Anything else you got to think of real quick? Uh, maybe the order that you do it in first. <clears throat> if you've got a project like this with heavy steel that needs to be done and you decide to do the muriatic acid application, do that first before you get to the point of stripping off all the old ugly paint so you can prevent the flash rushing. But if you do, again, it's not hard to do. I've done all of this, redone all of this just this morning. Now, the acid process did not take long at all. Maybe total time hour and a half and that included going inside taking a little bit of break and then coming back out and neutralizing the acid by rinsing it off hour and a half as opposed to originally scuffing all of that heavy heavy rust off with a uh, wire wheel like I showed you quite a time saver. Results are actually very good. I especially like the results over here where the neutralizer was put before the uh, before the rinse. But again, I'm not doing this in bare metal so it's got to be covered. I'm just trying to increase the durability add the good looks, make the trailer look good. So, next process after I finish buffing off all that oxide right there. She's going to stay inside, going to stay indoors. 
and we're going to start the painting and finally cover the deck with the bed liner material that I purchased some, I don't know, a couple of years ago from Discount Store. Well, there we got it, as usual. You run out of time because you run out of time. <laughs> Always the notebooks garage. At the notebook studio. Yeah, time to go to work. On a cold, wet, dreary day. I'd much rather be in here, but anyway. I gotta go out there to keep coming back in here to do what I really enjoy doing. Having fun playing with machines and everything. I just want to share what I discover with all of you. Hopefully make your project a little bit easier to handle and a whole lot more satisfying. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can help me. Appreciate you folks. Take care.